Shaolin fist stick for Boom. two. This one same. One, two, three. We're gonna impact. We have to work together. Chi, send the down to here. Go to the floor. Hi everyone, welcome to Shaolin Temple UK Kung Fu Workout Series. Today I'd like to introduce Shaolin Fist Stick Form. The reason we call the Shaolin Fist Stick Form, basically, you know, the stick weapon is your body extension. Alright? So basically, the, because it's a body extension, so you punch and kick, your body movement, you know, you get a power. So they can use for empty hands, punch and kick. Also, you can use for weapons, attack or defense as well. So they have very important connections. But uh, as you know, you can see, I didn't uh, see many people can use uh, weapons to improve your uh, punching, you know, and the kicks and the coordinations. So today, I like uh, quick introduce how to use the stick. Uh, to improve your stick of Kung Fu and uh, your fist uh, body Kung Fu as well, okay? And also explain the connections as well, all right? So let's uh, see now. We can use this stick to do some basic warm-up. It's very simple. You can see, so for example, we warm up our waist side, both the rib side and your shoulder. So you can do a few warm-up, you can see? It's, uh, Open, say that. So one, two, three, four. You see that? Yeah. So we can do a little bit <coughs> warm up. See this one? One front, one back. Yeah. Say so one, two, three, four. And keep push higher. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. See? And we can do rib side. See? Keep your arms straight. See, when you pull it up, stretch here. One, see, two, three, you hold your stick tightly, four. And change, say one, two, three, four. Okay, you can see that. So now we can do west. See, put on your shoulder, keep your leg open, yeah. Bend your knee a little bit, like a high mabu. Yeah, don't do too low. You're too low, you cannot twist your waist. You now it's easy to get the injury. So you stay higher, and twist so one and two and three, four. See, you don't move your feet. Five and six, seven and eight. Also, you can go low. Yeah, now one, two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See that? Also, you do Gong Bu testing. See that? You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See that? You can go other side. So one, two. So when you, if I stay there like this, you can see you twist your body. You can see it's a line. You can see my right shoulder, this shoulder, this shoulder go to back. Back shoulder go to the front. 100% twist, you see? And one, and you twist, you see that? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, so this is a, use the warm up your body to build up your coordinations. Yeah, it's very helpful. <coughs> you can see, also we can do many, yeah? Many ways, see? Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, so that stretch your body, make your body, you know, muscle, you know, tendons more flexible. Yeah, so you open everywhere, so then you can get a better coordination. So that's the stick can help you warm up. Yeah, so you do Kung Fu fist also in the warm up. You know, you spider weapons also in the have a very flexible body, good coordinations. And how to, how connection about this stick, 
with uh, punch and kick. So let me explain. You can see, for example, uh, we stay here. So when we do, if gong stick, we need to practice the strike. Okay, and this is a strike. Can you see? This is strike power. If you want to get, see now it's not power. Can you see? So once you want to have power, so you need to use this fist to, can you see? Recall the power. So then let the power go to the top of your stick. So you have to see. Can you see? When you go, see the stick. You can see the waving, yeah, in the spring. So then the power go to there. But actually, how to get the power is here. It's here, here, here. All right. So that means without this stick, can you see? Without this stick, now you can see. So it's like, huh? See? So that means this fist can go. So you can build up the recoil power. Okay, so you want a longer, you can go long. You want a shorter, you shorter. Long, mm -hmm. shorter, mm -hmm. and also they work with this hand together. So when you punch, bam! So your body is recoil. All right. So you get the right coordinations, so then you can get the power. So and also, for example, this punch, same. So when you punch, I see, huh? That's the punch, yeah? So if I hold a stick, and, can you see? And if I use the stick, it's here. The power comes to here, still use the fist to, can you see? Yeah, so, one, and two, and three, and four, and eight, five, can you see? Still, is this one. And this one's defense, look, defense, this one attack. So without a stick, now you can think about, yeah, the, uh, the have some relationship connections. So you defense, you see, defense, attack. So <clears throat> see, that's the recoil power. <clears throat> yeah. So that's the uh, that's the way. If you face the, the camera, you can see like that. <clears throat> see. <clears throat> So, those can build up. You can see they can build up your front fist, they can build up your back fist. So, but uh, when you practice, uh, you can do many different options. Yeah, at the least I explain you understand. This is have connections. Once you accept, they have connection, they have idea. So you use the weapons to build up your fist. You you practice the fist also can build up your weapons. So that's why is a weapons and body is become one. So then you're able to use, otherwise you're holding weapons. It's not only dangerous for the opponent, probably dangerous for you as well. So that's why you have totally control and understand the weapons. All right, for example, now we practice <coughs> a mabu, you see, and strike. So this is a punch, a punch. Can you see? Uh, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Yeah, that's the way. Can you see this side? You swap. Uh, mm -hmm. And two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Yeah. So when you see this recoil power, not only the arm, the body, leg, from the floor come to your waist, come to your back, and your back. Can you see? Recoil. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so not a step here, the he, ha, he, ha. Can you see? He didn't really use your body. So that's why, same movement, but if you're training differently, if you understand different, not fully understand, your Kung Fu cannot grow exact. You cannot reach that point. All right? So, and also, for example, another example, if this one do hook punch. See, we use the stick, power come to top of the stick. So then you can see, you can see, huh? it's, a, it's a fist, and it's this one control. One can see, doesn't work. Holding one fist cannot power go there, can you see? Yeah, only cannot get it. 
Only a very tiny little bit, it's nothing. If you hold two, can you see? This one come here, this one there, then, see, from here, then you call it together. Can you see? Huh? See that? So, is this one work? But this one is not only this one work, they have to have their one. Otherwise, they keep going, can you see? If you don't have, see, how can you get the impact? Can you see how can you get impact? You cannot get impact like this way. You want to get impact, so you have to work together. Chi, send it down to here, go to the floor, yeah, keep the stance stable, waist twisting, can you see twisting, and this one, like a defense, keep guard in here, and that one, go out. And uh, recoil, let the power go to the stick. And no stick, and you recoil, mm -hmm. see, that go to the fist, all right? So that's the, that's the reason, see? Let's see a few, few times, see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two, mm -hmm. three, and four, and five, and six. Yeah, so it's without this uh, stick, you see this hand still stay there, say, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Yeah, so you can see the two hands work together. It's not only stay here, parties. So defense, defense, attack. And this side, same. Huh? Mm, and two, and three, and four, and five. Yeah, so you see, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Yeah, we saw this one, same. One, two, three, four. Keep guard. So once you practice, you will get it. All right, so, so that's the, I introduced some basic ideas. But this uh, stick fist form is quite long. Okay, you have many. If you want to know, if you want to know more about how to improve your punch, coordinations, how to learn stick form or stick fist form, you can go to Shaolin Tang UK website to find out more details about this. All right, shorter stick forms, you also to practice making your fist and uh, stick flexible. For example, you know, we practice, you see that one, two, three, you see the only upper body, only hands movement without the footwork. Yeah, see, then you can get it. And look, see? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, uh, three, uh, one, two, three, see? Always low body, mm -hmm. see? <clears throat> yeah, left hand holding, see? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that, yeah? So always keep practice so you can get it, yeah? So that's the, Huh? So if you don't practice enough, you cannot master your technique. Yeah, so that's why you have to, can you see this is a very small space. Just uh, see, you can practice, you can say you stay here and then you can practice all about. So that's why the stick uh, is very useful because it's short, this one a little bit long, you can make it a little bit shorter as well, okay? From a bamboo, become hardwood, from hardwood, change to the metal, yeah? So that's why they become heavier and heavier. So then you build up your arm, um, the external strength, internal strength, yeah? So that's why you get a health body, because the internal and external training together, that's the Shaolin character. That's the Chinese Kung Fu, the different with uh, some other different martial arts is uh, we learn the Kung Fu. One is for self-defense, two is for health. So we keep balance. Yeah, if you only for self-defense, you don't care about the body, you keep use a lot without the care. So when you're getting older, you get problems. Yeah, maybe you're disabled, okay? That's unhealthy, and so it's not worth it. So that's why in the ancestors, you know, a couple of thousand years ago, they already find about this wisdom. So the generation by generation passed to now, so we have to pay respect and appreciate and follow, because this is a shortcut, okay? Don't think you can invent something 
uh, better than this. Yeah. We have the base of ancestors' the wisdom, then we can do some development, which is okay. Yeah. But don't think, you know, the traditional is rubbish, all right? So that's why we need to respect and carry on the very valuable knowledge from the uh, ancestors passed this valuable knowledge to us. We have to keep carry on and practice and pass the generation by generations. All right, so that's it. So today that's the introductions about the Shaolin stick fist form. All right, thank you. We'll see you next time.